teenage daughter after he thought she was an intruder. It happened early Wednesday morning in Columbus. Police say 16-year-old Janae Hairston walked into the family's garage around 4.30 a.m. and her father opened after he believed she was a burglar. No charges have been filed. The case will be reviewed by the county prosecutor. Outside Dallas, police are searching for... All right. First of all, um, yeah, a teen girl was allegedly, well, not allegedly, she was definitely killed by her father early Wednesday morning in what appears to be a case of mistaken identity, according to reports. Investigators are looking to the death of Janae Harrison, 16, of Columbus, Ohio, who was shot in the garage of her house. In a 911 call, Harrison's mother said the girl's father opened fire because he thought she was an intruder. The father can be heard in the call asking what his daughter was doing, and then he and her mother are heard begging for her to wake up. Police arrived on the scene at 4.28 a.m., and Harrison was transported to the hospital in critical condition. She was pronounced dead soon after. I think that's sad, man. Um, this isn't the only case of mistaken identity. In this, part, in this next example that I want to show... A guy was actually planning on killing his uh, landlord because the landlord had sent him an email telling him that he was about to be evicted. However, the, a realtor just so happened to be in the same condominium complex because this realtor had just bought a property in this condominium complex. And this guy who was about to get evicted, who was planning on killing his landlord, accidentally killed the real estate agent who just so happened to be there checking out their new property or whatever. Revenge out on the wrong person. He actually called police and told them to come and arrest him for the murder. NBC6 Steve Litz has a story. Where is Mr. Reese? In jail. Raymond Reese in bond court accused of murdering a woman who he thought was somebody else. Sarah Trost, a mother and wife and beloved in her Parkland community, shot several times, say police. She was a realtor getting ready to show a house in Coral Springs when police say Reese pulled up, bumped up against Trost's Jeep, shot her from inside his car while she was in her driver's seat. Several neighbors heard the gunshots. I came outside to, to see what happened. I talked to the guys. I was like, that's not like gunshots. They're like, yeah, we think it was. But when I got a little closer to the vehicle, I saw the blood on the floor. The shooting happened two days before Christmas, about 1230 in the afternoon. All right. First of all, the reason why I want to share these two stories with you guys is so that you can understand something that's very important. When we go through day to day life, we, it's natural for us to get into confrontations and for us to get into disagreements with other people. It's a lot of mentally unstable people out there who have access to firearms. Firearms are on the rise. A lot more people have firearms than they did prior to the COVID-19 pandemic. So it's a lot of weapons out there. So what you need to do is you really need to make sure that you make analytical steps in life. You got to make sure you do everything possible so that you don't end up being a mistaken identity victim. You know, if you're dealing with somebody... You never know if this person is unstable or not. You never know if this person is homicidal or not. You don't even know if this person may own a firearm. So take this as a lesson. Don't be angry with people. If you don't like somebody, just keep it within yourself and just distance yourself from that particular person. Because there's a lot of crazy people out here with guns. And I'm telling you, the reason why I like to share these stories is so that you can understand that this stuff is affecting normal people who have normal jobs, who live in normal communities. This stuff is getting closer and closer to home, and it's, it's, it's just madness out there. You know, it's just madness out there. This one particular person told me, he said, hey, I noticed that in the majority of your videos, you're showcasing white people who actually commit crimes against other white people. And I'm not trying to do that on purpose. The fact of the matter is, they are the majority in this country. It's 44 million black people in America, 70 million Hispanic people in this country, and uh, out of a total of 350 million citizens in America, 250 million happen to be white. So, yeah, it's more white children in the United States than black people combined. So, yeah, quite naturally, there's going to be a, a, a disproportionate rate of white on white crime because they're just they just so happen to be the majority. But at the end of the day, take this stuff as lessons. Move carefully in life. When you're dealing with people, you know, handle situations strategically don't get upset don't confront people just don't deal with them peace